Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. Tonight we are stir frying. Who doesn't like a stir fry? It's a quick, easy meal for weekday or even on the weekend. Um, this one is called chicken and mango stir fry. I've got my electric wok out. It serves four. There's quite a few ingredients to it. So come on in and I'll show you what we need. Okay, so first of all, I have got the electric wok out because this is so much easier and quicker. And when you're going to do a stir fry, the key um, thing to remember is have everything ready, obviously with the exception of measuring out tablespoons and whatever. So what we need, 375 grams of chicken tenderloins. I asked my butcher for tenderloins or chicken breast strips if he couldn't get those. So that's in there. Two tablespoons of sunflower oil. I don't use sunflower oil and I wasn't about to buy a whole litre or thereabouts just to get two tablespoons. So because it's a stir fry, I'm going to use peanut oil. So if you have a peanut allergy, use whatever oil you normally use. Canola oil would probably be a good substitute because it's sort of similar to sunflower oil. Maybe, I don't know. I've never used sunflower oil, so don't know. Maybe Google it. Sorry. One red onion peeled and sliced. I've sliced it up into um, like that, half and then chopped it. One red capsicum, de-seeded and sliced. And same with one yellow one. So we've got a nice colour scheme going here. We've also got 100 grams of snow peas. Now I've had these in the freezer for so long, I can't even remember how long. There's 150 grams there. I don't care that there's 50 grams extra. They're going in. They're finally leaving the freezer. Farewell. One teaspoon of minced ginger. That's the one that you buy in the jar. One mango peeled and cut into strips. Now, my when I got my fruit and veg delivery, he turned around and he said, mangoes aren't in season. I said, I thought so, but I had them in the freezer. I have the chopped ones in the freezer. So... I've worked out what I think is a mango and these are actually pretty good because you don't have to spend all that time slicing it, peeling it, taking the seed out of it uh, and it's already chopped into cubes. Now um, for my overseas watchers, um, you may not be familiar with mangoes but mangoes are a really popular fruit in the summertime, like people go crazy for them. And they're really good um, if you serve them in the summer, obviously. Um, you can put them in the freezer and you just eat them cold. So it's sort of better than stacking on chocolate and all that, which I love because I do have a sweet too. Uh, juice of one lime and one lime cut into wedges to serve. Quarter of a cup of sweet chilli sauce. Now, I may not have enough here, so I've got a backup bottle because I do love sweet chilli sauce. And last but not least, half a tablespoon of light soy sauce. Light soy sauce. Okay, so that is everything. Um, you can serve it on its own or on a bed of rice or on noodles. I thought I'd go with the noodles. And the good thing about these ones is I can chuck them straight in the wok. So that's a bonus for me. All right, so now that you know what we're doing, we're going to get going. So I'm going to set up my wok and then um, we're going to get ready to stir fry. Okay, so my number one cooking rule is always spray what you're cooking in because you'll thank me later when it comes time to wash up. Okay, let's begin. So the good thing with the wok is it comes with this spatula egg flip stirring implement that does not scratch the silicon coating on it. All right, we want two tablespoons of 
sunflower oil, but we're only going to heat one tablespoon. And this peanut oil, but whatever oil you're using, it says to heat half of it. Half of it is obviously one tablespoon. All right, so let's get it hot. So if you don't have one of these, I'm not going to make you go out and buy one, but just get a wok because when you're starting to set up a kitchen because you decide you want to cook at home, which is 10 out of 10 for you and um, it's a good, good way to cook at home, um, a wok is definitely one of those things that you need. <coughs> so you don't really need a lot of things to cook. Um, what I've done is obviously I've been cooking for a long time. So over the years, um, things have been my from my parents. So I've sort of inherited all that. Um, and I've just brought things as I've needed them because um, you can go out and spend $10,000 on stuff for a kitchen and you may never use it. So you buy, buy it as you need it and you'll sort of work out what you like to cook the most. When I first started cooking, I just used to love cooking stir fries because they're healthy and easy. Um, and now I don't cook as many stir fries. Okay, so these are pretty big strips, but that doesn't matter though. So pop those in. I probably could have cut them up, but you know what? They're going to get cut up as they're getting eaten, so it's all good. So, yeah, a wok is definitely a kitchen essential um, because you don't just need to use it for stir fries. You can use it for other things. I have been known to cook um, bolognese and things like that in it just because, to me, it's a, basically like a large saucepan. All right. So we're going to get these nice and browned. I've got this on really high. And we need a plate because once the chicken has stir fried for a few minutes, basically till it's just browned and not pink, we're going to remove it from here. So I'm just going to get another tin plate. See how good it is in the wok. And I do have a stovetop wok, uh, which I do occasionally use. Uh, I can't quote what recipe I would have last used it on. Basically, I use that one when I can't be bothered getting this one out of the cupboard because it is buried in the cupboard. All right. So just get these nice and golden few minutes. Okay. Right, I'm going to lift them out now because I don't want them really cooked. I just want them sealed. Okay, so set those aside and get ready to go back again. Okay. Add the remaining oil, so that's your other tablespoon. So this is really hot now, this wok. Perfect. All right, are you ready to fry? Okay, we're just going to chuck it all in now. Stir fry the onion and capsicum. All right, might turn it down a little bit because we know it's really hot now. So I've turned it down to about halfway. Look at that colour. Okay, so after two minutes, we are going to add the caps, um, the snow peas and the ginger. So I'm going to start and open these up now. These are very frozen. Very frozen. 
Alright, I'm just going to put them straight in. I normally do cut the tops off them, but I don't know. They're going in. I'll deal with it as I eat them, I guess. Alright. Good colours going on. Alright. And we want that ginger, which is one teaspoon of minced ginger. I tricked you with that, didn't I? I wasn't supposed to put that in that early. That's all good. That's all good. All right. Let's crank it up a little bit. We'll get a bit of heat into it. All right. Give it a good stir. You should start to smell that ginger and the onion and all the veggies in a moment. Okay. This is the best thing about stir fries um, if you're trying to be healthy. Um, the more veggies you put in, obviously the better it is for you. Okay. Once everything's starting to look like it's cooking, we're going to put the chicken back in. Now the thing with a stir fry is you don't want your veggies too well done because you sort of want them to still have a bit of a crunch. So they're sort of like having half a salad really because salad you've got your crunchy vegetables. All right, I'm going to put the chicken back on top. As I say, if you get the tenderloins, oh, they're a lot thinner than these ones. But if you can't get tenderloins, just get a chicken breast and just chop it into um, strips. They'll probably be thinner than these ones as well. Okay, we're going to put the mango in now. Probably could have gone with more mango, but... As I say, by the time you have a fight with a mango, you don't get much out of it. Okay, in goes the lime juice. We got a lot of juice out of that lime, which was great. Okay, a quarter of a cup of sweet chilli sauce. Probably should have kept the lime juice to deglaze the bottle if I need to. So I'm just going to have to deglaze it with the soy sauce. So no matter what, this is going to be a quarter of a cup because there's still some in here. And I'll show you, for those, those of you that are new to my channel, you'll have no idea what, I talk, what I'm talking about. This is what I do to get some out of a cup. Probably a random thing to use. All right. So to deglaze the bottle, we need half a tablespoon of our soy sauce. So what I'm going to do is pop it into the bottle. Put the lid on and give it a shake. Not going to get much out of that. I might put a little bit of water in it. I wouldn't normally put water in it, but given the fact that um, we do need a bit more liquid anyway because of the sweet chilli sauce, this will be fine. Just put a little bit of water in the bottom of the bottle. Give it a good shake. This will definitely deglaze it. And the fact that we're simmering it away, it'll finish it off. All right. Look at that for colour. All right, I'm going to open the packet of noodles so that we can get ready to pop those in at the end. If you're not using noodles, um, you should be cooking some rice by now, boiled rice. 
or as I say, if you don't, if you want to just have it on its own, you can just have it on its own. So we've got a bit of extra liquid in here, and that's mainly just because we've got um, that bit of water, and I guess it's coming off the frozen uh, snow peas and mango as well. All right, let's get these noodles in. Got to make sure the chicken's cooked through as well. All right. Okay, so when you put the noodles in, put them in like worms. Just separate them as you go. They do remind me of worms because they're noodles. Yum. All right, well, once everything looks cooked and you're happy with it, dish it up. Thank you for watching this episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. This has been chicken and mango stir fry. Um, if you're enjoying the show, hit subscribe, like the video, and um, I'll catch you on to my next adventure. Bye.